To what extent is this uncertainty surrounding this French presidential campaign, meaning businesses in London are wary of committing to Paris right now post-Brexit? You know, it depends on, on the, the situation of the banks and financial institutions. Um, we would understand completely that uh, they would wait for the elections before taking a final decision because it will be a decision for, the, for decades and decades if they decide to cross over the, the channel. Some of them, in, uh, like HSBC, have already decided to go to Paris and to transfer 1,000 people. Um, you know, today we were here in London. You were? You were uh, pitching Paris? Yes, pitching Paris. To, to, to financial services companies, leaders? Yes, with other, uh, not, we, we've met uh, 80 uh, f financial companies mm -hmm. leaders, but I was with uh, uh, Valérie Pécresse, the president of the region Paris, with uh, Missica, the vice mayor of Paris, uh, and also the president uh, of the met metropolis. So left and right, all together, gathered, in order to send a message uh, to Londoners, we are friends. The cooperation between uh, Paris and London has always been very strong, and the Paris Europlace and the City of London have a cooperation agreement, and we have decided to prolong uh, after the Brexit this cooperation. And we say, if the consequences of the Brexit in terms, for example, of the financial passport, which normally would disappear, if the consequences uh, leads you to um, uh, send some activities, some people to the continent, please come to Paris. You mentioned HSBC. That's interesting because Bloomberg have reported lots on this, which banks are vying, which banks are heading where. And it seems right now RBS and Barclays, they like the look of Dublin, Credit Suisse and Standard Chartered maybe too. Lloyd's like the look of, likes the look of Frankfurt. HSBC likes, look, likes the look of Paris. So right now Dublin and Frankfurt seem to be ahead. W what can you tell us? I mean, are bankers spurning Paris right now because of taxes, because of labour laws? Give us some insight. Okay. First of all, only one HSBC has explicitly said that she will go to Paris. The other ones are supposed, rumored, but not explicitly have taken their decision and, and expressed publicly their decision. Now, Paris, uh, in our view, is the only one other global city in Europe. There is London and there is Paris as a global city, by the size of the city, by the attractiveness of the city, uh, by the size of the region, and also backed by the fifth uh, global economy in the world, France. Uh, secondly, Paris is by far, and we've made lots of studies around that, uh, the second um, financial center in Europe after London. And let's take a few examples. In asset management industry, for example, Paris is uh, uh, twice bigger uh, than Germany. In um, uh, private equity, that's also is But how do you fight bigger. off the criticism, taxes, tax issues in France, yes. the criticism of labor laws? Some are, it seems, okay. wary of France because of those two issues. Oh, let's take uh, corporate tax, for example. Corporate tax is 33% in, uh, in France. It's exactly the same level than uh, Germany. But the French parliament, with the socialist parliament, has already voted a law to reduce this corporate tax to 28% in 2020. It's not uh, an idea, a promise. It's dec decided by the parliament. Uh, of course, we have other issues, and we hope that those issues will be improved in the coming months and perhaps after the presidential election. Labour flexibility mm -hmm. and, and social tax. If Marine Le Pen was to win the presidential election in May, if she gets to the final round of voting, would you see the interest from the UK completely grind to a halt? You know, uh, we uh, consider that uh, after the presidential election, there will be um, business uh, friendly government. Uh, we, so we, you're, you're suggesting it'll be either 
Monsieur Macron, Macron or Monsieur or Fillon, Fillon, or Fillon. he doesn't survive yes, that some of the know, places. We, we uh, do not interfere with, uh, with politics. We are business. We are the business. But, uh, frankly, we, we have uh, been reading hundreds and hundreds of polls, and no one is, uh, is uh, giving Marine Le Pen winning uh, as during we know, the we second don't round. Polls, oh, Monsieur. I know. <laughs> especially in England. We don't trust the polls. <laughs> but hundreds and hundreds. But we will see. My, our answer uh, to, the, to the, um, uh, the finance world here in London is you have three months to wait and you will see.